Good morning. Day 17. Mandarin. Oh, that'll be delicious. Day 17. And two little treats. There you go. I thought I would give everyone a blanket update. It is really starting to grow. The first time I showed it was at this marker because I had just picked it back up. And then I've showed it here and here. And now I'm at this marker. So in the last week, I've added from taco to brownie. <laughs> A brownie sundae. So I don't know. One, two, three, four, maybe five inches maybe or so. So I'm starting to feel like it's getting longer. We have about nine days until Christmas, eight until Christmas Eve, two inches a day, 16 inches added. I don't think I'll I'll be where I want to be. I don't think it'll be done, but I'm going to measure it now. So I'm at about 35 inches right now. If I add 16, you know, I'll be getting up there right around 50 or, you know, more. I think 60 would be a good length. So yeah, I could probably get there. Good morning, everyone. I am running errands. <laughs> I have a facial this afternoon. Um, my dermatologist recommended it for um, some dry skin. So I'm going to take her up on that because that's an hour of relaxation. So I am heading in to do that. I wrapped and boxed a bunch of presents this morning. So when I said to my husband, I'm going for a facial, he said, what's that? <laughs> Which tells you that it doesn't happen at my house very often and he had no idea. So now I'm at the drive-thru at McDonald's getting a Diet Coke because I haven't had any today and it's um, 1240. Um, but the physical therapist yesterday was supposed to tell me last week that the office was closed and she didn't. So I got a call from the office manager, <laughs> left a message and said, we're so sorry. I called everyone, but Anne was still seeing you that day and said that she would just tell all of her clients and she forgot to tell you. So it wasn't me, which I was kind of glad that I hadn't messed it up, but it was just a bummer anyway. So Diet Coke and Facial coming up next. I am so sorry that I could not take you all with me because that was just amazing. Do I look dewy? <laughs> if you've never had a facial or are feeling stressed around the holidays, what an awesome gift for yourself. <laughs> oh, just lovely. She worked on my neck and shoulders, my face. I feel all dewy. Yeah, all the things. <laughs> okay, it's Shipping Central. I have been working on getting all this organized, packaged up, ready to ship out first thing tomorrow morning. And the Christmas cards came. So here's the card. And it is gigantic. And I do not want to tell Ross or Kylie that I have no idea that it would be six by eight. I thought it was four by six. So we are gonna have the biggest card, which is obnoxious. What do I do? Fold it in half and cut it off? Oh, I don't even know what to do. How embarrassing. Just to give you an idea of the other cards and ours. Yes. I thought I would share this today. I'm going to dump these out. These used to be in a little wooden box. But these are all of the buttons that my daughter collected from yarn stores over the years. And she and her friends used to play with all of the different 
ones. So there would be animals and they would make roads. And every time I went to a yarn store, she would pick out a button or two and then she would come home and make these, you know, big scenarios of just all kinds of the bear. And so I thought it might be fun if you're a, a knitter or a grandma for, uh, you know, children or grandchildren that they can go in and pick from the buttons of Halston and have their own little collection. So yeah, it was kind of fun. Kind of a fun thing that I came across in my yarn closet the other day that I will now pass along to Kylie. So she had a lot. There we go. A whole tabletop full. They're done. We got dud envelopes with no glue in the right back corner, so we had to tape them all. But they are ready to go to the post office in the morning. Hey everybody, good evening. Almost nighttime, bedtime. Not for me, but for the rest of the world. We went out to dinner. We went to a local place where they have a coupon for buy a hundred dollars get 25 free we like to eat there so we bought the package <laughs> um so you get the gift cards to use after christmas i had franny's coconut chicken salad which is amazing it's got artichokes and avocado tomatoes a hard boiled egg with this beautiful coconut chicken on top um honey mustard dressing it's really good. Ross had walleye. He loves their walleye. Um, they have really good sourdough bread. And then we came home and we stuffed and we stuffed and we stuffed the envelopes. And you will have seen that we got dud envelopes. And so we had to, we licked and licked and then they weren't sticking. And then we realized that they weren't all sticking on the one side. So then he went through them all and started taping and then I taped. But they're ready to go out in the morning with several packages. Um, I'm still waiting on one gift that was supposed to arrive today to put in a box to ship. And now it's saying Monday, which is frustrating because I don't want to have to go back to the post office. But we are going to go see May tomorrow for Christmas. We are taking her out to lunch with Ross's brother and his wife. And then, um, and then we'll be home and we'll have one Christmas kind of done already, which is kind of crazy, right? That it happened already. But I was going to show you that I cast on that little baby hat today. This morning when I was sitting on the hot pad when I got up, I cast on that little hat. I showed it on the podcast, but I know not everyone watches the podcast, so let me see.
this one. Isn't it cute? Remember I had talked about it and I said that the white was duplicate stitched? I'm not doing that. I'm carrying three colors in those rows. I don't care. It's not that painful to carry three colors for nine rows. I mean, it takes me a lot longer to duplicate stitch after the fact. And I'd really like to put these in the mail to my nieces. I already knit hats for them. Um, so this is an extra. <laughs> um, and one of them has a birthday in February. But I was sitting here. The yarn was here. I didn't want to knit on the blanket after knitting on it all night last night. So... I cast it on, I think it's gonna be really cute. And this is super stretchy, so yeah, it's gonna be fun. I'm using Cascade 128, so it's a very chunky yarn. I'm on a size nine needle, so I mean, this took less than an hour and I had to find the pattern and get started. So I'm going to work on the blanket now for the rest of the evening. It is 9.30, 9.45, Ross just went to bed. He's getting up at 5 to finish my dad's truck so that we can leave by 10 to drive the two hours to see his mom for her lunch. I ordered some cookies to pick up at the grocery store on our way that her favorite. Um, one of her presents didn't arrive yet. It's supposed to come tomorrow. It's some turtleneck, um, soft turtleneck sleeveless. As women age, they don't like their neck. Neck. My mother and my, my mother-in-law are both the same way. They like to wear these little mock turtlenecks. And look at me here. I sit in a little mock turtleneck. <laughs> I put this on again tonight because it was sitting on the shelf in the closet. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's easy. I'll just put that on again. I didn't wear it for that long the other day. Um, so, yeah, we went out to dinner, as we always do on Friday and Saturday night. Um, my husband has been home now for working from home but going into the office for two years. And in that time of COVID, he has wanted to learn how to cook. And yesterday he said, do we have to make supper again? <laughs> and I was like, yes, honey, we have to make supper every night. We have to think of something to make. And tonight he said, I'm so glad we go out to dinner so we don't have to think of something to cook. <laughs> and I was like, I've been doing it for 35 years, Buck. You just started getting involved so <laughs> I think we will continue to go out to dinner on Friday and Saturday night he really likes it it is his thing 100% many Friday and Saturday nights I would like to just stay home and order in or have leftovers or something but I like to take my wife out to dinner and he's he's such an introvert that he just wants to go with me whatever I'll go, you know, I'm not going to turn that down. So we've been gathering up these gift cards from everywhere and we'll use them after the holidays, which would be really nice. I got a couple more presents wrapped today. And other than that, you're seeing a lot of my face and a lot, a lot of what I'm doing because I'm spending a lot of time driving <laughs> around and getting ready. And I haven't started baking yet, but that should happen, start happening. And I'm just going to... Watch a little TV. I was just watching a little bit of Chelsea's Vlogmas. Uh, Chelsea Yarn. Uh, day 17. It's on the screen. I love the interaction between she and Tad. It's really cute. Very clever. So um, I will see you guys all tomorrow. And I will take you on our way to Lake City. So hopefully... I won't have to drive it all and I'll just be knitting on that blanket the whole way down and the whole way back. I have to remember to bring my neck light so that if it gets dark on our way back, it shouldn't, but it might. I mean, gosh darn, it gets dark about 4.30, right? We should be well on our way home, but I gotta remember to bring my light so I can knit in the car. <laughs> so I'd really like to put a few more inches on that tonight. So, see you guys tomorrow. I didn't put his collar on him, but somewhere in the darkness <laughs> is my dog. I don't know, I can kind of see him. He'll come trotting up here in a minute.
There the eyes are. <laughs> uh.